Hello. In celebration of our NEA Aspiring Educators Black Lives Matter Week of Action, I would like to read a book written by and about one of my favorite women in history, United States Vice President Kamala Harris. The title of the book is Superheroes Are Everywhere. Before Vice President Kamala Harris became a lawyer, United States Senator, and now Vice President of the United States of America, she was a little girl who loved superheroes. And when she looked around, she was amazed to find them everywhere. Those superheroes showed her that all you need to do to be a superhero is to be the very best that you can be. In this empowering and joyful memoir that speaks directly to kids, Vice President Kamala Harris takes readers through her life and shows them that the power to make the world a better place is inside of all of us. Superheroes are everywhere. Written by Kamala Harris and illustrated by Mikhail Rene Rowe. Faster than a rocket ship, stronger than a tidal wave, braver than a lion. Superheroes always make the world better, no matter what goes wrong. Whenever there's trouble, superheroes show up just in time. When I was a kid, I was sure that superheroes were everywhere, blending in with regular people, ready to do a good job at a moment's notice. I was determined to find them, so I started my superhero search right at home. It didn't take too long to find one. I noticed my mom had a magic touch. Her hugs make me feel so warm and safe and even strong. She knew I loved good food, so she taught me her secret recipes and we create huge delicious meals together for our friends and our family. I even cooked some of the dishes all by myself. See, Kamala, my mom would say, you can do anything if you put your heart in it. And if you try hard, you can do anything in the world. My mom was a superhero because she made me feel special. She believed in me, and that helped me believe I could do anything. Heroes make you feel special. Who makes you feel special? Heroes are people you can count on. My sister Maya and I did everything together. Ballet class, piano lessons, bike riding, and board games. I knew that if I ever needed her, she'd be there, one half of our dynamic duo. When we felt sad, my mom would throw us an unbirthday party so we'd feel better. Together we'd eat unbirthday cake, open unbirthday presents, and dance around the living room. Maya was always by my side. My sister was a superhero because she was someone I can count on. Who can you count on? Heroes make you feel brave. I felt that searching for superheroes was really important. So I kept searching for superheroes in other parts of my family. My dad wanted me to be fearless. Whenever we were in the park, he'd let go of my hand and call out, run, Kamala, run. And I'd run as far as I could and as long as I could. My dad was a superhero because he made me feel brave. Who makes you feel brave? Heroes stand up for what is right. My grandmother was one of the smartest people I've ever met. 
And she used her smarts and her voice to speak out for women who were being hurt and to teach them how to stay healthy. My grandfather used his voice to make India a free country. All of my grandparents in India and in Jamaica were superheroes for standing up for what is right. Who stands up for what is right in your life? Heroes are best friends. My best friends and I cared about each other. When I was in kindergarten, I told a boy to stop teasing one of my best friends. And another time, that best friend helped me when I fell on the playground. We all wanted to feel safe at school. My best friends were superheroes because they made one another feel safe. Who are your best friends? Heroes are educators. I love my first grade teacher, Mrs. Wilson. She taught us about plants and flowers, sang songs for us from cultures around the world, and revealed how tadpoles turned into frogs. Educators like Mrs. Wilson are superheroes because they show us the whole wide world and help us chase our dreams. Who are your favorite educators? When I looked, I found a superhero right down my street. Mrs. Shelton was our family friend and was like a second mom to me. She watched Maya and me while our mom was at work. We'd gobble up our homemade biscuits, peach cobbler, and gumbo for special occasions and pile into her car on Sundays for church. Mrs. Shelton treated everyone with love and respect. Heroes are kind. Mrs. Shelton's kindness made her a superhero to me. Who is kind to you? Heroes explore with you. Agbanor and I chased fireflies and caught them in jars. Uncle Sherman taught me to play chess. Aunt Mary and I read book after book together. And Uncle Freddie took me to museums where we'd see dazzling artwork. My aunts and uncles my mom's friends who are part of our family, helped me explore my world and that made them superheroes. Who helps you explore? Even as I got older, I kept searching for superheroes. When it was time for me to go to college, I was excited to go where my aunt Chris went to study at Howard University in Washington, D.C. My grandmother hadn't had the chance to go to college, but she encouraged her kids, my mom and my aunts and uncle, to study hard, and they did. My mom became a scientist. My uncle Baloo is an economist. My aunt Sarala is a doctor, and my aunt Shanini works with computers. They were superheroes because they showed me that by working hard, I could be whatever I wanted to be when I grew up. Heroes work hard. Who do you know who works hard? Heroes protect people. After college, I wanted to become a lawyer like some of the people I looked up to. Thurgood Marshall, Constance Baker Motley, and Charles Hamilton Houston. They fought in court because they knew that people aren't always treated equally, but should be. Like them, I wanted to make sure that the law would protect everyone. These lawyers were superheroes because they protected people by using the power of words and ideas. Who protects you? Heroes make a difference together. 
Once I became a lawyer and then a senator, I worked with all sorts of people to help kids. Even better, I got to know amazing kids who want to make the world a better place. And you know what I learned? Heroes are you. Superheroes are everywhere you look, even inside of you. Are you kind, brave, and curious? Are you a best friend? Do you share? Do you treat people fairly? Do you lend a hand when other people need help? You're a hero by being the very best you. Now that's pretty super. Ah, uh, here's the hero code. Do you want to be a superhero? It's easier than you think. The first thing to do is you have to raise your right hand and say the words that I'm going to say to you out loud. And if you want to wear a cape, it's okay. Some superheroes wear capes. Not all superheroes wear capes. It's okay if you don't wear a cape. But here we go. The hero code. I promise to make people feel special. Be someone people can count on. Help people be brave. Stand up for what's right. Be a best friend. Be a good educator. Be kind. Explore with my friends and family. Study and work hard. Protect people who need it. Make a difference when I can. I promise to be the very best me I can be. And that, my friends, is the end of the story. Superheroes are everywhere. Thank you for being a superhero.